Welcome to the Open Heavens Daily Devotional Review for today, the 26th of September, 2023. Our topic today says, put God first always. Put God first always. Our memory verse is taken from Proverbs 3 verse 9. Proverbs 3 verse 9. And it says, honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of all thine increase. I'll take that again. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of all thine increase. Our Bible um, reading is taken from 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 7 to 16. 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 7 to 16. And it says, And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zedon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So he arose and went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks, and he called to her, and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel, that I may drink. Verse 11. And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thy hand. And she said, As thy Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruise, and behold, I'm gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, and that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it to me, and after make for thee and for thy son. And for thus saith the Lord God of Israel, the barrel of, of, the barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. Verse 15. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and, her, and she and he and her house did eat many days. And the barrel of meal wasted not, and neither did the cruise of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which is spake by Elijah. Uh, Father and the Lord is bringing to our attention today the importance of putting God first in all that we do. God will always honor those who honor him god will always honor those who honor him god said in um matthew 6 verse 3 says seek ye the kingdom of god and its righteousness then all other things all other things will be added unto you you know sometimes we're just childish and i'm not just talking to you i'm talking to myself too we're childish in our approach to god we act like our children you know sometimes you give your child a small candy or a small piece of meat and you say oh junior can you share some with me princess can you give me some and then they hold back forgetting that the entire thing actually came from you like you have a box of goodies you have a pot full of chicken soup you have a tray filled with chicken um barbecue chicken and they forget. So that's how we act sometimes. We act like we place ourselves here on earth. We keep ourselves. We provide for ourselves. And we feel like it is by our strength that, you know, we are able to do all the things that we do. No. Put God first. No matter what he demands of you, always put God first. And we see that in the story we just heard, read in 1 Kings chapter 17. I mean, it's one of the most powerful faith stories in the Bible. I salute the widow of Zarephath. I want to meet her when I get to heaven. How did she obey such uh, instruction? In the, it's one thing to give something you really like, but you have other options. It's another thing to give when you barely have enough. Now, it's another thing for you to give when you barely have enough and you have a child depending on you. Mothers can relate. If it was just you, I mean, if it's just me, I can't give you and know that, okay, I'll be hungry and I'm just going to die. But this is your child. I'm sure that woman already promised the child before she left the house. I'm coming. Let me make you something you can eat. She probably has not even told the child that that's their last meal. And then the prophet said, you know what, make for me first. The prophet did not even say, make the little you have, let's share it equally. Mm -mm. Prophet Elijah said, make for me first, then you make for yourself and for your son. She obeyed that prophetic instruction and God preserved her throughout the time that there was nothing in the land. Perhaps you're listening and God has been prompting you to make to give something, to do a sacrificial offering. You know, this is not a pastor, a prophet speaking to you. You know what God wants you to give already as I lighted it on your mind. This is the confirmation you have been waiting for. Go and give it because abundance is waiting for you. Father and the Lord shared the story. He said when he was in Elisha, holding a crusade many years ago, his professor took his PhD thesis to the external examiner. 
Normally they post it, but this professor bought a ticket all the way and took it to the examiner. All the other PhD candidates, you know, had to wait months before they could meet the external examiners and then they went for oral examination. But while he was busy doing the will of God in Elisha, God was busy doing is also this is an encouragement for you i know we live in a world where people will try to take you for granted where people will not show appreciation but that's not your priority your priority is god when you honor god god will always honor you it does not matter what man is doing god always finds a way to honor us when we put him first and our key point today says always put god first I hope that this word has encouraged you and strengthened you. If it has blessed you, please remember to share with your friends and family. Thank you so much for joining us. God bless you.